you've got two cameras that have been modified, one infrared and I think one full spectrum. The infrared conversion means that it can only photograph in infrared because it's removed. they remove the hot mirror filter, which kind of blocks infrared and UV light and only lets in visible color. And they take that off and they actually put a filter onto it that only allows you to shoot in infrared. So it's kind of baked in infrared camera only. And that's great if you want to shoot infrared, but then that's all the camera can do, one trick pony. And mm -hmm. even it's fixed to the particular wavelength. My first conversion was a 720 nanometer. I since fell in love more with a darker infrared, which is a, you know, they call it like a deep black and white. And so that's at 850 nanometers. And I actually sent a camera back to get reconverted so that it was the darker one. And I'm like, well, I can't do that again. So this next camera that I got, the A7 III, I got it converted to full spectrum. You can actually use these little sensor clip filters that go over the front of the sensor. So you can uh -huh. manually change them out yourself. So I can choose to photograph now in whatever wavelength I like. And I can even, it's not perfect, but that camera can now also even shoot in visible color as well using a, a filter that, that sort of acts like that hot mirror filter that was taken out. Image quality wise, there's um, some issues with the corners. It's not quite as perfect as if it was a, a proper conversion. So if you're really just only wanting to do infrared, I'd recommend a, a direct conversion still. But if you want to have a bit of flexibility and be able to play with it, get a full spectrum conversion, and then you can use those clip filters to be able to choose your own wavelength.